Hello there, welcome again to my YouTube channel. With the dawn of latest news about data espionage by tech giants and governments, we all have become sort of skeptical about our data which is stored on our devices, right? You see, in the world of AI, data is the fuel. Without data, the models used to predict cannot become more accurate. But again, why would we want to share our data? There are so many reasons why we, why we would not want to share our data. It could be private to us, it could be sensitive, or I don't know, it could be harmful, God knows what. So how can our machine learning models get better without a trade-off between data privacy and prediction accuracy? The answer turns out to be something called decentralized machine learning. And in this sphere of machine learning, there is something called federated learning. Standard machine learning approaches require centralizing the training data on one machine on, or in a data center. So what this means is, uh, you see, your data is stored somewhere on Google's data server which is located somewhere on this planet. So you see, your data is literally sitting there on one of Google's data server. It belongs to them. I mean, it is your data. But as long as it is, or it is on their server, they can do pretty much whatever they want with it. You're not in control, strictly speaking. What federated learning does is this. Instead of migrating your data onto one of their servers, they will migrate a machine learning model onto your device when it is not being used. You know, probably when you keep it to recharge at night while you go to sleep. It works something like this. Your device downloads the current model. See, the Google engineer will cook a machine learning model to predict and then deploy it on the cloud. From there, the edge devices, which is basically a fancy word to call your phones or tablets, will download this model. Step two will be now this download model Im improves itself by learning from data on your phone and then summarizes the changes as a small focused update. So, with more data, the model will have learned something, uh, you know, and will probably have improved itself. And then, only this update to the model is sent back to the cloud. Of course, using encrypted communication to protect it from, you know, a third-party interference or something like that where it is immediately averaged with other user updates to improve the shared model. And this keeps on iterating itself. All the training data remains on your device and no individual updates are stored in the cloud. So as you can see, the data is not centralized at one place. Your data stays with you and my data stays with me. This way all our data is spread across all the users. Or in other words, the data is decentralized. That's why this is called decentralized machine learning. I hope you've got, uh, gotten a fair you know, intuition about uh, this uh, federated learning. If you've liked the video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the like button. Till next time, cheerio!